Hi, welcome to my video tips number four. I hope you'll be enjoying the other three. And today we're going to be talking about Egyptian walk. It's one of my favorite steps ever and it's super fun and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. This step is also known by many other names. One of the other names is Falahi walk. That's because it's done by the Falahi people. Falahi people are the farmers of Egypt, okay? One Falah is one farmer. Falahin would be the plural and anything belonging to the farmers is Falahi. So this step being done by them became known as the Falahi step. It's a very simple step, but can get very complicated. I'd like to simplify it for you and I hope it becomes very helpful. The most important thing to remember about the Egyptian walk is that it is a walk. Sometimes we get really complicated about how the hips are doing and we forgot to get the, the forward motion that is so vital for this step. Even if you are on the spot and not actually moving, the feeling of the walk has to be present at all times. Okay, so the most basic form of this step is push your hip down, so you are parallel to start with, place one foot in the front, bring that hip downwards into your leg, so it's not coming out from the other one, it's going down straight within the frame of the body, straight into the leg, and to switch, you put your weight into that leg, to get out of it, you flick out into the leg. So you go in, flick out. Same thing to the other side. In, flick out. In, flick out. In, flick out. In, flick out. Rather than creating triples, quadruples, many hip motions with it, just get those two parts very well. The rest will develop as you get more and more experience with the step. So let's try that again. So you're gonna go down, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip. Okay? Now it's better done double the speed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna double up, okay? We're gonna listen to the music a little bit and then double up. Down, up, down, up, bell, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Slow. Double. One and two and three and four. Five, six, seven, down. Flip, do, down, flip. So this is the basic form of it. Of course, the higher the speed, the more shimmied it would look. So it, it not only speeds, but it complicates, okay? But actually, in terms of technique, it should simplify. The faster you go, the simpler you do, the more it looks complicated. So it's kind of a trick of the mind. So when we do faster, it looks like we're doing more, but we're actually just doing smaller, but more regularly. Okay, so let's try the fast again because that's a little bit more tricky than the slow. Three, four. Down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip. And relax. A bit dry. And just walk me. Drive. Walk. Slow. All right, so now we're going to recap the basic theory of this step. So we go down into the leg, hips down into the leg, flick out. Hip down into the leg, flick out. Of course the hip has to go up before it can go down, but that's not the focus of the movement. That has to happen really naturally and without being a big thing where people would put their attention into it. What you want to show is the down and then the flick. When you speed that up, then you have a very good Egyptian walk. So let's do that. 
five, six, seven, eight. Wobbly. I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you again next month with some more tips for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. See you next time.